Hello my friends and welcome. I received a lot of comments to do more tests with Peltier modules. So in this episode I will test and compare the most common Peltier modules. Here we have three Peltier modules, but which one works best for your project? In my last test video I used this AMD CPU heatsink to cool the hot side. It's designed to dissipate about 60 watts of heat. And a lot of you commented that it's not enough, especially for powerful modules. So this time I bought a new and more powerful cooler. It has three heat pipes and a lot of aluminum fins, or aluminum fins, depending on where you live. This one can handle up to 130 watts of heat, which is more than enough for this test. The cooler needs some modifications, this bracket is not needed. To mount and replace the Peltier modules easily on the cooler, I made this small table or frame, using a thin MDF panel and four wood legs. I added some washers under the MDF panel, because it needs to be at the same level with the heatsink. The frame with the cooler looks pretty stable. I will add the sticky foam insulation to keep the module in position and to separate the hot side from the cold side. You can see that there is a small gap on the sides, that's because the contact surface of this CPU heatsink is 38 by 36 mm and the Peltier module is 40 by 40 mm. This will not affect the performance, because the last millimeter on the edge of the module is just silicon and ceramic material, there is no heating element. Some of you commented that I should measure the temperature on the hot side as well, to compare the modules. So I will add the thermometer sensor on the back of the hot plate, and hold it in position with some sticky foam tape. In my previous test video I used this small radiator on the cold side, and some of you said that the load was too small, so today I will use a slightly bigger radiator. To measure the temperature on the cold side, I will add the thermometer sensor with thermal paste on the radiator. The cooling fan will be powered with a separate 12V adapter. The room temperature is between 23 and 24 degrees Celsius. We start the test with the 12703 module. The last digit represents the maximum current it can handle. So this is the most economic with maximum 3 amps. My favorite. The written side is the cold side, so it will face upwards. Thermal paste will be added on each side, for a better temperature transfer. I will use my variable power supply, and for the first test I will power the modules with 9 volts. Because some of you asked me to compare the modules at different voltages. So let's see if this makes any difference. I will use a stopwatch and test each module for 30 minutes. The white thermometer shows the temperature of the cold radiator, which you can see is starting to decrease. And the temperature on the hot side is shown by the black thermometer, obviously, which is slowly increasing. After one minute, the cold radiator has 2.2 degrees Celsius. Ok. Let's check it again at 10 minutes. Minus 8.4 degrees, that's good. And the lowest temperature after half an hour is minus 10.2 degrees Celsius, for a power consumption of 18.58 watts. This is how the cold radiator looks with the 03 module after only 30 minutes, powered with 9 volts. I made more tests with this module, which I will show you in a few minutes. For now let's remove it and prepare the next Peltier module, which is one of the cheapest and most used, 12706. In my previous test video some of you commented that the 06 module had bad results because the cooling was insufficient. We don't have that problem anymore, do we? So let's see some real results. I will repeat the test with 9 volts for each module. After 1 minute the cold radiator is at 2.3 degrees Celsius, similar to the 03 module. Here is how it looks after 10 minutes, minus 6.3 degrees. And the lowest temperature after 30 minutes is minus 6.1 degrees, so it's already behind the 03 module. There is also less ice on the radiator.
I received a few suggestions to test a more powerful Peltier module. The next one can handle up to 10 amps. I will add thermal paste again. For the first test I will power it again with 9 volts. After the first minute we have 1.9 degrees. 10 minutes and minus 8.2 degrees. And after half an hour and a few seconds, the temperature is minus 9.2 degrees Celsius. Let's compare the results of the first test. The 06 module is the least impressive so far. The recommended supply voltage for Peltier modules is 12 volts, so let's try that for the next test. We are back to the 12703 module. At the 60 second mark, the temperature is already at 0 degrees. But this will take all day, so let's go directly to the finish line. 30 minutes and minus 12.3 degrees. The temperature is lower with 12 volts compared to 9 volts. That's a shocker. And we have more ice on the cold radiator. I want to thank all my patrons for their support. If you want to see these videos a few days earlier and more DIY videos, please check out my Patreon page. Next the 06 module powered with 12 volts. And if you are wondering, yes, I tested all three Peltier modules with three different voltages at three time intervals. Let's check the temperature after 30 minutes, minus 6.3 degrees. At 12 volts it has a similar temperature to the 9 volts input. The difference is the hot side, the temperature has increased, so more power wasted for basically no gains. And now let's power the last module with the recommended voltage of 12 volts. And the result after half an hour is minus 9.3 degrees Celsius. I was expecting more from this powerful module. But wait, there's more! Peltier modules can be powered with maximum 15 volts. So let's stress these babies with 14 volts. That should be enough, I don't want to burn them. First the 03 module, but we have a problem. At this voltage the current consumption has increased above the rated value of 3 amps. So I will limit the current to almost 3 amps. And after 30 minutes the result is similar to the 12 volts input. Now the 06 module. It draws 4 amps, the power consumption is pretty high. The result after half an hour is only minus 4.2 degrees Celsius, that's pretty weak. We have one more test to do, the last Peltier module powered with 14 volts. And the result of the final test is minus 7.1 degrees, I was expecting a better result. So let's talk about the results and then I will explain some more about the tests. You can see that the best results are in the range of the 12703 module. It has the lowest temperature, powered with the nominal voltage of 12 volts, and the power consumption is lower for that result compared to the other modules. I mean it's better to use two of these 03 modules at 9 volts instead of one of the other modules, and you will still have a lower temperature and lower power consumption. But keep in mind that the Peltier modules I tested are pretty cheap and probably of low quality. High performance modules will definitely deliver a better result, but they are pretty expensive. Check out this bad boy right here. The cooling is not a problem, because the highest power consumption was 55 watts and the CPU cooler is designed for maximum 130 watts. The highest temperature on the cooler plate was 32 degrees Celsius, 9 degrees above room temperature. And if you think that the temperature reading is incorrect, let's disconnect the fan and see what happens. The temperature goes up very fast. And if I reconnect the fan, the temperature drops, obviously. So the cooler is working correctly. Another thing I want to clarify. Some of you commented that the 06 module needs a better cooler than the 03 one. I agree with you. But if you have a project with a limited space for cooling the hot side, you will already install the best cooler that fits. And no matter what cooler you install, the 03 module will give you better results. So there you go, I still think the 12703 module is the best for hobby projects, considering its low price and low power consumption. Please share your thoughts below in the comment section 
hit the like button and thanks for watching this video. Bye!